Thank you for joining me again tonight. I want to make a shout out to everyone who is my follower and to those new viewers. I would like to welcome you again. What we'll be talking now is probiotics. We know the importance of probiotics. That's why a lot of us are really taking foods, natural foods, that are sources of good probiotics. Or some people are taking natural supplements with good probiotic strains. But before that, allow me to give you a little background. Our terrain, body terrain. You see, we have microbiome, so to speak. And microbiome is a community of microorganisms that are living within our bodies. This would include bacteria, fungi, and even viruses. Microbiome's diversity is actually associated with diseases. You see, the wrong bacteria or the wrong microorganisms in the wrong places in our body would result to diseases or illnesses. But the right bacteria in our body, in the right places, would give a lot of health benefits. These are called good bacteria, and these are referred to as probiotics. Probiotics are living organisms living bacteria and yeasts that provide health benefits when taken or consumed in large amounts. This microbiome are like mini garden in our bodies. You find them in the stomach, in the small intestine, in the large intestine, in the vagina, and in the mouth. What are the sources of good bacteria or these probiotics? Well, there are natural food sources, and these include fermented foods like yogurt, miso, natto, pickled vegetables, kombucha, sauerkraut, kimchi, and other cheeses, some cheeses like cottage cheese, is a very good source of probiotics. What are the health benefits of probiotics? One of this is probiotics improve digestion. Number two, they reduce the risks of infections, brain health. They also reduce the risks of chronic diseases. They could prevent depression, anxieties, stress, moodiness, and other behavioral issues. They also ease vaginal infections and they fend urinary tract infections and they provide benefit for the skin and they are usually the answer to dermatitis. What are the side effects of probiotics? You see, probiotics have also side effects. For example, when you take yeasts, they could have unpleasant digestive symptoms, like for example, gastritis, increase in bloating. They also can cause diarrhea, constipation, and even thirst. It also serves as muscle fuel and it increases the absorption of minerals from the body. Naturally, lactobacillus bacteria are found in the mouth, in the small intestine, or in the digestive tract, and also in the vagina. Now let's look at one good bacteria that is a species of lactobacillus. This is called lactobacillus uteri, and this Lactobacilli uteri are found in the mouth. They are partially responsible for the digestion 
of foods while in the stomach. Yet, this lactobacillus uteri is often wiped out when you use toothpaste and mouthwash that are containing alcohol and other chemicals. This result into hypertension or high blood pressure. Now, this lactobacillus uteri is also found in the colon and the importance of this is when a pregnant woman this lactobacillus uteri that is in the colon has a positive effect on a pregnant woman because this lactobacillus uteri is directed by the brain to come out of the colon and go to the breasts of the pregnant woman via the blood cells. When the time for breastfeeding starts, this lactobacillus uteri gets to the milk. And what happens is that they are fed into the baby when breastfeeding starts. The relevant feature of this is that this particular species of lactobacillus, lactobacillus uteri was found to prevent breast cancer. That's why babies that are fed by mother's milk have strong immune system against devastating chronic diseases, including cancer. Lactobacilla in general alters fat metabolism, particularly adipose tissues, and therefore prevents weight gain. So those who are obese, those who have the tendency to be fat, take your good probiotics. What destroys probiotics? One is fast foods. You know, there was this experiment done in the U.S. wherein a group of mice were given fast foods and another group were given regular foods. Those given fast foods were found to have weight gain, but those given regular foods did not have weight gain. You see, regular foods were found to release the hormone oxytocin. This oxytocin is released by the pituitary gland and this causes increase in healthy microbiome and prevents the overgrowth of bad bacteria. Another way that I would like to tell you is that these probiotics can be wiped out by antibiotics. The whole seven day taking of antibiotic can wipe out the entire good bacteria in in the body and do you know that it takes two years to replenish this good bacteria or probiotics and that's the reason why it is very important that we prevent we try to limit our intake of antibiotics well natural antibiotics do not take away or wipe out these probiotics one natural antibiotic are herbs and spices like for example you have garlic ginger and also colloidal silver these natural antibiotics do not wipe out this good bacteria i hope you learn from it and i hope it benefits you and your family share it to your friends so that other people may also learn from it thank you so much god bless you and your family to god be the glory